Buongiorno. I don't know why I said that, I'm not Italian. Obviously. <laughs> this is the Timex Expedition Grid Shock. A massive digital watch that has got some cool features and uh, is just absolutely rock solid and looks really cool and it's really comfortable and I really like it. Oh, and it's really cheap and it's got a cool light. It's got it all. Let me tell you about it. I'll bring it in close. Here we go. So, as you can see, straight off, huge face, which I'm going to measure for you. So the face itself is three, three and a half centimetres wide. The whole thing measures uh, for nearly five centimetres wide. It's mega chunky. It's one and a half centimetres thick. And it's, uh, it's difficult to know where to measure from, really, but so it's four centimetres tall. So it's a mega watch. I'll put it on my wrist and you can see what you think. There. I've got seven and a half inch wrist, so I've got a big wrist and it still looks ginormous. But I think it looks really cool. Looks like something from like a that a, an astronaut would wear. Whilst we've got the strap on here, I'll just show you a cool feature. The keeper has a little little groove in there, a little nick in there, and it fits into this groove. So you tuck that in and they're perfect, doesn't move, doesn't flop about or anything. However, as you can see from my wrist, it rubs, but I reckon that will toughen up. It's worth it. A bit of pain is all right. Anyway, sorry, I'm out of, I'm out of shot here. Let me get back into, into the swing of things. So this watch features uh, the time, huge time. Ticking away there, it's 24 hour clock, so you can set it as uh, PM, AM, or 24 hour. We've got the day and the date. Similarly, you can set the date uh, to the other way around if you're American. So you can have 0718, but I've got it uh, European, 1807. What else have we got? We've got a chronograph. Start, off it goes, stop, reset. Uh, is that reset? I don't know. Yeah, there we go. Hold to reset. The nice thing about this watch is that it tells you how to do stuff. So if you want to set things, uh, you've got a little instructions on there. Let me show you what I mean. If I press set. Uh, no, hang on. Oh. Ah, cancel, cancel. Right. Start again. Set. If I press set, hold to set, it tells me what to do. And then it's got little flashing arrows, plus, minus. It tells me how to do everything on the screen. So it's very useful guide. And it's actually very straightforward to use. So anyway, back to the features. So we've got the chronograph. We've done that. We've got a timer, which is very useful. I've, I've set mine to two and a half hours. I was topping up the pool. I needed to know when to go and turn the hose off. That's really cool. Oh. Chronograph, timer, alarm. There are three alarms. I've set it to just one, but uh, you can have all three alarms or you can just have one. Chronograph, timer, alarm. Oh, yes. Right. Sorry. I've switched off some of the other features. Uh, there's a third feature called hydro and you can set this. It's like a little hyd um, hydrate alarm. It's not hydro, is it? It must be hydra. Hydrate alarm to remind you to drink. So if you're using this for sport, you're running or cycling or something and uh, you need to remember to, to take on fluids this beeps every 15 minutes and reminds you to take a drink pretty cool up here in the top left corner we've got a little 10 second countdown dial just it just looks cool doesn't do anything the other nice feature is the indiglo so we'll press the big button oh, you can't see hang on let me just go and turn the light off I'll be back, I'll be back. Here we go. Right. Is that better? Yes. Look at that. Isn't that cool? It's just the numbers that glow. Wow. That is ace. I really like that. Here, I'll put this down. I'm just going to go and put the lights back on. I'm still here. I'm still here. I'm just putting the lights on so we can see. That's pretty much everything there is to know about the uh, the Timex Expedition Grid Shock. I fell off on my bike whilst wearing this, proper smashed myself up. 
The watch was covered in soil and grits, not a, not a mark on it though. So it is pretty sturdy and it is uh, billed as that. I really like it. I think it's a cool watch. So there you go, the Timex Expedition Grid Shock. If you enjoyed this video, I would be really grateful if you would subscribe to see more. I'm just a bit out of breath. It's, uh, I, I, I ran here because uh, I was, I was getting, running a bit late. Anyway, I digress. Um, yeah, subscribe and, and there's lots more videos. You can have a look through my catalogue and enjoy. I'll see you soon. Bye.